Michigan really has been a leader in making our building stock more energy efficient and really eliminating waste from our buildings. In the last 10 years, Michigan has reduced its energy usage in state buildings by almost 25%, so it's a big number. And the next step really is to figure out how much more there is to do. And right now we're engaged in a benchmarking exercise against commercial buildings and against other states to understand, are we a leader? Are we in the middle? Do we still have a lot to do? And we're eager to find out because it's actually the first time we've done so much that we thought, you know, it's time to look around and see what more we may have to do. What does 2030 look like as compared today to today? And what do you think is going to have to happen to get us there? Well, the governor has been really looking at what our energy policy needs to be in 2025, 10 years from now. And there are four areas he believes it needs to be. The first is that our energy policy needs to be adaptable, that no matter what the future holds, that we'll be making no regrets decisions. And the very uh, key goal in all that is to eliminate energy waste, because no matter what kind of fuel is the cheapest or no matter what our environment looks like, we know that we will not be sorry if we have reduced energy waste and eliminated it here in Michigan. In addition, we need to look at what our energy policy does to our reliability, our affordability, and our protection of the environment. So those goals include a system that uh, our number of outages goes down quite a bit and that we don't stay down as long when we do go down. And on the affordability side, right now, Michiganders spend 6% more than the national average to heat and run their homes electrically. Now, they use 38% more energy than the national average. So that says Michigan has a big opportunity on affordability and making sure our houses aren't wasting energy and spending money we don't need to spend. And finally, on protection of the environment, looking at mercury and acid rain and particulate matter, which is linked to asthma and heart disease and lung disease, and saying all those things need to be reduced. And we know any energy policy that does all that by 2025 will be a no regrets policy, and that's what we're working toward. Yeah, job one for government is really to serve its customers, which are the citizens of Michigan. And we know that the citizens of Michigan want energy that is reliable and affordable and protects the environment no matter what the future holds. And our job as government is to set out those goals. What does that mean? Goals like eliminating energy waste. And then bring people together to say, what's the best way to get there? And so instead of arguing about different policies sort of divorced from that, remembering that there is a common goal that citizens from all over Michigan can agree on, and it's our job to deliver whatever policy gets us there in the best way. So I think when you're talking about the goal of eliminating energy waste, you're thinking about it from a lot of perspectives. You know, our businesses have learned a lot about eliminating waste and becoming more productive since 2008, and we have a lot to teach, but still more to do. And on our homes, we have some of the oldest housing stock here in Michigan that does use a lot more energy to heat and cool our homes. So I think rather than think about energy efficiency or eliminating waste as you know, putting on a sweater or being more uncomfortable, we need to realize it's actually about being able to be more comfortable in your home, having it be less drafty, and still having the money to visit your grandkids or to go to something special at the grocery store or out in our great Michigan outdoors. So too much, I think we think about this as a trade-off between comfort or something else I want to do. And I think the, really, the thing we have to really understand is if we're eliminating energy waste, we're improving our quality of life, we're improving the ability of our businesses to compete, and that means our children will have that many more reasons to work and play here in Michigan. Yeah, I think too often when we're looking at how does Michigan do, we are ignoring the fact that we're a manufacturing state. Our question shouldn't be, can we use less? Because we could all, again, just stop making stuff and use a lot less. What we really need to be thinking about is, are we wasting energy? Because that's really the question that Michiganders need to ask themselves and need to be able to answer no to if we're going to be competitive. So while we, it's important to benchmark against other 
places and other people, our most important benchmark is against ourselves because we know it makes a lot of sense to do energy efficiency improvements here in Michigan, even more than in other places. And so what we need to do is to challenge ourselves to do better because that's how we will do better long-term as a state and for all of our customers, the citizens of Michigan.